What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoots and today I've got a continuation of yesterday's video which was how to set up NDI for OBS to OBS. However, today we're going through setting up NDI for XSplit as an output and an input. So say you want to stream from your main gaming PC to your laptop or a second PC from XSplit to XSplit, then this is the video for you. However, of course, you can mix and match OBS and XSplit by using the NDI outputs or inputs however you want, it really doesn't matter. But this video is how to set up an NDI output and an NDI input for XSplit. If you'd like to know how to do it for OBS, then check the link in the description down below. And of course, if you'd like more details on what exactly NDI is, the performance impact, etc, etc, then that will also be linked in the description and the comments down below when that gets released. However, today we're focusing entirely on setting up NDI from XSplit and getting it to work, coming back into XSplit on another computer. That being said, Let's begin. So make sure you have XSplit installed on both of your computers. I've got it here on my main desktop and on my laptop over here. And as you can see, it's working fine. I've got it set up. It's not currently recording and it's not currently broadcasting. So how exactly do we get it to go from our main PC, our gaming PC to a second PC where we encode it and stream it to the internet, record it or do anything with it there. Now compared to OBS, all we need to do is head across to Playout and you can see new tech NDI output is over here. There's no plugin that we need to install, no extra settings, etc, etc. All you'll need to do is click this and it should present you with the option to install the NDI runtime. However, if it doesn't, then it's basically working just fine anyways. So I'm pretty sure you'll need the runtime installed. However, I can't exactly check that because I installed it on my previous video. Of course, if you'd like to download the NDI runtime then that'll be linked in the description down below as well however as you can see we're currently live with the new tech ndi we're not streaming to any website or any computer for that matter yet it's just going out of xsplit and it's able to be picked up on the network referring to my task manager over here you can see that we're basically using almost no internet however i'm currently using 7.7 .7 megabits per second because i'm watching a twitch live stream as well as listening to music so that being said let's head across to my laptop and into xsplit over there as you can see it's a fresh install of xsplit with no sources added so all i need to do down here by add source is click that head across to streams and click on NDI stream and you'll see my streams over here. So I have XBC NDI stream over here from my main PC. Simply click it and you'll be able to see your main PC over here on your laptop or second PC. As you can see, if I move one window around on my main PC, it's being merged directly to my laptop with basically no delay. Having a look back at my main PC, you can see it's using about 240 megabits per second upload speed and on my laptop, it's using about 240 download. Media is being sent directly from one PC to the other and it's running basically perfectly. So what exactly is happening here? Well, everything that's happening on my main PC is being encoded with a really light codec. So it has basically no performance impact on my main PC. And it's being sent over to my laptop at a very big bitrate, meaning that it's doing basically no compression and basically no extra work. My laptop is then receiving it, and then I can compress it and stream it up to the internet using that, and have these settings as high as I want without worrying about the impact that it has on games. Compared to OBS NDI, there's a ton less that you can do in XSplit NDI, but of course, this is the basics to it. As far as I know, you can't add separate audio inputs and outputs as NDI streams, but of course, if you're streaming from OBS on your main PC with multiple NDI outputs for your audio, etc., etc., you can add them here by add source streams, new tech NDI stream, and you can add them from over here. Of course, if I head back to my main PC, you can see I'm recording with OBS tools, NDI output settings, and turn it on. Head back to my laptop, add source, streams, NDI stream, you can see OBS is here as well, meaning that they are interchangeable and I can use either of them. You can see that I'm moving around the OBS stream. If I simply turn off display capture, you can see this window goes black because this is the OBS output that we've now added as an input. So they are interchangeable and there's no issues with that. You can see that my internet usage basically doubles. Both of these are using around 200 megabits each. And of course, I've got them connected using a gigabit switch. So of course, that's something you need to keep in mind. If you're going to be streaming with multiple NDI inputs, or even one for that matter, you need to make sure that your two computers are hooked up on a pretty good network connection between them. Of course, this is only local, and that's not using any of your internet's power. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this 
of the Airstream, and you can see our internet usage drops back down to where it was before. And that's basically it. There's a lot less to this. You'll have to do all of your audio control on your main PC, as we can't send our audio streams across to the second one. However, if you're using OBS on your main PC and XSplit on your second, then you can go ahead and add those separate audio inputs and use them here, change the volumes, etc, etc, and do all of your effects on your second PC. That being said, there's a ton less that you can do with XSplit to XSplit, but you can do a hell of a lot more with OBS to XSplit or OBS to OBS. So basically, there's nothing really to be said at this point. This is as far as it goes from XSplit to XSplit. There's not much customization that you can do with XSplit to XSplit. Of course, if you'd like more customization to do all of your effects and stuff on your second PC, then you can do that easily by following the link in the description down below and simply just using XSplit instead of OBS on your second PC. That's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.